for a really long time, I would see guys, pretty serious woodworkers, on YouTube especially, and they would have aprons on, and I would think, can't wait to never do that. Uh, I, but I did not understand the function of the apron until I, I got one. I got this one on Amazon uh, maybe two years ago, and it has put in its work, um, glue, lots of blood. Um, <laughs> I didn't mean to have you open that. But thank you. That's one of the great things about an apron is she's got the new one and it's got all my gear in it. Uh, and the bottle opener is very important. But a couple of you have asked me about the Cat's Moses um, apron and I thought a review would be a good thing. In order to get me to buy something, um, really I try to put a lot of thought into purchases, especially if I already own something similar. Um, it's gotta be kind of a step above um, whatever it is that I already have. And so I did a lot of research, uh, but I will offer this caveat, is that I have a giant man crush on, on Jonathan Katz Moses. Um, I think he's charming and clever and funny and all of those things, and I've learned a lot from him. And so um, I don't sports much, and so maybe this is like my version of a jersey, and I just needed to have JKM on something that I wear all the time. Um, it's really cute. <laughs> it would have been... I would have bought it if it had that embroidery or not, which the embroidery is a very nice touch. Um, the other thing, so I'll just, I'll go over what, what set this apart from what I already owned. The first and primary thing, and I hope this is all getting on camera, is the way that this fits around my neck makes me want to, uh, yeah. yeah, it makes me want to crawl out of my skin. I, I hate that feeling. And so it's virtually all of the weight of your apron, everything you have in, and it feels like it's pulling your head down the whole time. Um, you'll notice here that this has a strap across your shoulder, a strap across your waist. We didn't cinch it down for Steph because I didn't want to uncinch it again for me. Uh, but it has a lot of, of room in those, and I know he sells some extensions. Um, so this was the number one selling point for me was I was so tired of having this around my neck. And then it had like a, a janky, uh, like it was just this raw strap. And so I, I think I cut um, a pair of shorts, like the waistband off a pair of shorts. It was driving me so crazy and threaded it through and sewed it back just to get that strap off of my neck. Um, really, otherwise, um, I don't know much about canvas. I know there are different weights. I do know that some are wax and some are unwax, and I would understand how that would help with some uh, some moisture issues. This one definitely appears to be wax, as you can leave some pretty decent scratches on it, and um, which I imagine is that wax tearing up. Uh, this just appears to be some some canvas. You can see how this one's this one's worn pretty well. Um, oddly, the the logo is all but flaked off. It's super odd. Um, this square holster despite being just absolutely charming and cute, um, is really, really functional. Uh, one of the, I used to have to dig into this pocket for my square, and it's just like a little bit out of reach because I'm not willing to choke myself anymore. Um, that's really handy. It's also handy just having a consistent place. Put it back, put it back, put it back. That might just be me. Um, we'll see what else, how we're gonna talk about this fit. Awesome. Um, that bring the comfort to uh, next level for me, which is kind of everything being in here. If you can't tell, I'm a profuse sweater. Um, I'm, I'm drenched, it's, and it's only the beginning of June. Um, so comfort is a lot here in Texas, and so this being around my neck, awful, awful, I'm not awful. sweating at all. You're not just, sweating? No. You're just too pretty to sweat. Um, Function-wise, aside from the differences that I pointed out, like this, the holster, they're not a whole lot different function-wise. This one has what would appear to be a number more pockets. Um, that doesn't necessarily make it more functional for me. Uh, I would say they're, they're pretty much a dead even in that. Quality, like I said, um, they don't feel like they're one's thicker than the other. Does one feel thicker than the other to you? I could bust out the micrometer, but that seems mm. a little... No, about the same. A little much. Um, what's the next one in? Quality, wax, got that. All right, um, we'll play a game later called What's in My Apron, and maybe uh, you guys can respond to some of those. I think that that would be really cool. But we know that the, the number one thing that you're probably gonna be looking for in an apron is sex appeal. 
And so we're here to answer those questions. <laughs> well, I hope we've answered that question for you. <laughs> this but is what everybody really wanted to see. I provided. And the it's apron just reveal. not big enough. <laughs> just, just not big enough to cover everything. But for we real. love it. He loves it. If it. Even if it didn't have Jonathan's name on it, it, it was a worthy upgrade for me. I, I hate the neck 